there, I'm Barbara Turley and you're watching another episode of Feminine Wealth TV, the show that uncovers the diamond tips on creating truly conscious wealth from world shakers, change makers and wealth creators. So as you can see, I'm joined on the show today by not one but two guests. I've got Kay Scott and Lisa Sullivan-Smith from the clinic here in Sydney. Girls, Hi Barbara. Welcome to the show. Thank you Barbara. Well first of all, I want to say thank you for joining me on the show, but also thank you, thank you for allowing us to film in this totally stylish and totally decadent skin rejuvenation oasis here in Sydney. I love this this place, it's fantastic. Thank you. So, uh, why don't you, why don't we just start with, tell us a bit about the clinic, why it's so special and what you guys do. Okay, so myself and Lisa um, have had the clinic for almost 15 years. Mm. Uh, we think it's special because not only is it an anti-aging centre, but also a uh, centre of excellence for skin. Um, we think we're very proud of our achievement mm -hmm. in our business, yes. such as you said, beautiful oasis. Yeah. Um, people walk in the doors completely, feel completely relaxed straight away. Um, and I think we provide an excellent standard mm -hmm. of clinical service across the board for all our treatments that we provide. And I love the word, the use of the word clinical, because it gets away from this beauty therapy. Yeah. So yeah. Um, with um, we use the word clinical because we're both nurses. We mm. only employ nurses and doctors. Right. So as um, Lisa fondly mentions on our website, mm. if you want um, a beauty treatment, go to Betty's Beauty Box. Oh, let's try this on that. And yeah. you know, we do proper medical treatments. And, and what that means and clinical standards mean is that we also um, have to stand by medical uh, standards yeah. for medical procedures. So mm. it's a very, very safe environment. Um, and with everything we do has clinical documentation and proof yeah, that it works. Yeah. Which is bringing that to an industry, I think, that you know, yeah. the beauty industry can be a yeah. bit Well, I think the yeah. problem is now, Barbara, with, um, say, for example, we will use injectables, mm. okay? So a beauty therapist can get a doctor to come to their premises, oh, right, yeah. do the injection, but there's no emergency procedures mm. um, in place, there's no follow-through. Um, so all those kind of safety and follow-up customer service that we do provide yes. is not available when you go to yeah. something like a beauty And you don't really know, I think, when you're out there as a consumer, you know, looking yeah. for the service, you know. But yeah. I just love the fact that we've got clinical meets stylish, because it is so beautiful in here. Um, and I did read on the website, actually, Lisa, that was your quote. I think it said, if you want an aromatherapy facial, mm -hmm. go to Betty's Beauty Box. If you want results, you go to the clinic. Absolutely. And I love the fact that I've gotten to know you girls over the years. Mm -hmm. and. It's that straight-talking kind of no-crap attitude that I love. And I think, you know, do you think that's been a, a, a bit of a secret of your success in this business? I think that Kay and I are both honest. Yeah. We're both hard-working. We saw, um, a, a, basically, we saw that the market was lacking yeah. uh, beauty uh, with medical treatments and lush mm. environments to work in. Kay and I both come from a nursing background, and mm. we both have pharmaceutical uh, background as well, right, okay. where we used to call on doctor surgeries that were old, dirty, um, lacked beautiful um, furnishings, furnishings yeah. and no, no water to drink, no nice teas, and Kay and I saw that we could perhaps provide an environment mm. that women would feel comfortable in, yeah. and also the services with high service, high uh, customer service, which we pride ourselves on. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to take a step back. You both started out, as you said, as registered nurses. Where did the passion, you know, where did the passion for nursing originally come from? Which go first? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, my, she's the I still, I'm the yeah. Irish one. She's the Irish one. I'm the Irish one. That's right. Yeah. Um, so I grew up like you, Barbara, in yeah. Ireland, and it was obviously a little bit before your time. But <laughs> yeah. back when I left school in the eighties, everybody became a nurse. It was either nursing. You didn't have options as a fit, as a woman. So it was yeah. yeah. So it was nursing, teaching, civil service. You know, in my year when I finished school, probably I think two or three girls went to university. Mm -hmm. It's not that I couldn't have gone, but just the expectation for women. My brother went. You know, so mm -hmm. that it just wasn't there that you were going to do that basic. Yeah. And the know? interesting thing is that that was only in the eighties. Like we're not talking 80s. about the nineteen twenties. No, yeah, which exactly. Like, it's fascinating. Yeah, and I mean I'm hospital trained, yeah. which is gone now. So when I, mean, I had to mm -hmm. go live. In a, did you live in, the, in Ireland? Oh, in the the dorms. Dorms. Yeah. <laughs> in, you know, so we had to live in dorms for six weeks yeah. and everything. So, you know, I think why I probably stayed in love with nursing is the friends I made. You I know, think a lot of nurses bonds, say that. The yeah. bonds I made. Yeah. And I think that carries through then, 
you know, when it comes to teamwork and your own business and, you know, mixing with different, the nursing teachers and mix with different personality types. Yeah, of course, so yeah. that's why I did it. I was drawn to it and I loved it from the very beginning. Mm. And Lisa, what about you? Where did your love affair with nursing start? I guess um, it was actually my mother's uh, advice to me yeah. and um, both my family, uh, I pride them on being working class, um, mm. uneducated, right. um, people who didn't go to university back in the 60s. Mm. So my mother suggested that I did nursing, and her famous quote was to marry the doctor down the road like Kathy Oh, yeah, 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 get in there. But, yeah, in there I nursing. wish I listened to her. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, but you a business woman but, Europe, but right? I must <laughs> say, though, that um, I've always had a passion for the medical field. When I was in Year Nine, I said, I, and I worked in the children's hospital in the, in the physio department, mm. and so the medical industry has always impressed me, and yeah. it was basically my passion. So yeah. when I decided, you know, HSC, eighteen years of age, what am I going to do? My mum said, just do nursing, and I did mm. it. So and I've enjoyed it, and, and it's I loved grounding, it. It's grounding, I think. It's a great grounding of a career to start out. Mm. So you did the nursing. Is that where you both met? When you were when you were nursing? No, so I okay. a little bit older than Lisa, so oh my I, gosh. I did it. I um, did, I did it. I did it really when I finished. I travelled, and when I came here, then married to someone who's Australian, so that's hence yeah. why I stayed here. Um, but I actually set the business up um, twelve months before I met Lisa mm. uh, with another lady, and um, she got ill, and Lisa um, so was I didn't know that. yeah, didn't know that yeah, yeah. and Lisa um, was uh, working. Yeah, for very just it just started for a very short time, but we instantly got on very well. We met at a conference. Yeah, we met at a oh, conference. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I was working for a French cosmeceutical company, company. Yeah. Uh, with French products that was yeah. very very hard to sell. And Kay was my first customer. I think. Yes, yeah. we, had a, we had a mutual bonding, and then we just got talking and did coffee and what have you. Yeah. And then, you know, a new equipment called Intense Pulse Light Machine was coming out. That's and Kay right. Suggested, you know, would you like to come and work a couple of days in, yeah. as a nurse? And I said, I actually miss the the patient interaction. Yeah. Um, yes, I'd love to. I've done enough with the sales. I miss the nursing. So I guess I'll, I'd love to come and work. And basically, that was, that was my journey. Start, Two yeah. days yeah. was three days was four days, yeah, and here we are now. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So when my the business part left, this is um, stepped in. Right. So what I'm interested to talk about now, actually, just that you brought up the business partnership mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I mean, you guys have had this business for it's 15, fifteen years. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen years of a great Great partnership yeah. and a very successful business and a great friendship. Yeah. Like you guys are actually mm -hmm. friends outside, yeah, of, outside of work. And I'm really fascinated. So many women in particular, we love going into business together. We get a great idea, you know, with your friend, and you decide we're all fizzed up about an idea and yeah. you think, let's go into business mm -hmm. together. And so often it fails because the mm -hmm. vision is not aligned. Yeah. And before you know it, the business is gone and the relationship is yeah, gone. gone. How have you girls maintained your friendship and the business partnership mm -hmm. over the years? Oh, oh, sorry. I, was say, yeah. I guess I guess the key to us was that we actually weren't friends when yes. we started. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we had a, we had a liking towards each other. Yeah. And I guess it's like an arrangement. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like an arranged marriage. And we had a we, we, um, we, 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 we got on we got on well together. Yeah. And then I guess we because we both have high work ethics and we yeah. both have the drive, we both have the ambition, so the vision. need for success. Yeah. We we've just grown together. Yeah. And we, we're almost like sisters. Yeah. And it might sound corny, but we no, you, you know we have a, we we go away every. Year we go away on a yeah. lovely yeah. holiday to try and yeah, conference. conference. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but we, yeah. we do that to expand our education. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, we love to shop. We love to yeah. go to nice uh, yeah. restaurants. Um, You're lucky because you've created what I think a lot of women would love. I mean, a yeah. business partnership that does become a friendship and yeah. works. And yeah. The aligned vision you mentioned. But I, I think, as important. Lisa said, the, the key is we weren't friends to start with. We become best friends. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing too is we keep our lives separately. Like this is a different stage in her life. Her children are smaller, my yeah. mum has grown up. We don't socialise together, we're not right. in mother's pockets, we spend a lot yeah. of time together. Yeah. We yeah. exercise together. We exercise yeah. together. We're <laughs> the same hairdresser. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of things that we do together, but at the same time, socially, we kind of, we do, yeah. we do live the same lives. Life. We've got yeah. our own yeah. lives. I think that's the key, because we speak probably every day. Yeah, twice a day. Three times a day. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah. what would you say, what has been the hardest thing about being in business, being in a partnership together in a business? You know, I just when we looked at the questions for today, mm. myself and Lisa, look, we have not had a fight in no. 15 years. No, no. I was we have not. Yeah. Well, it's it the laser that you get rid of the cat's balls <laughs> when you have the fight. But we actually yeah. don't. We, and, and, yeah, and, it hasn't been hard. And yeah. actually, it's been easy. But my first time around, it was a nightmare. Yeah. So a lot of people would say a, a lot nightmare. of business partnerships are like that. Yeah. They're a nightmare. Yeah. They're a nightmare. And I think the fact that everything was in place this time around, yeah. and even though the original business part was very short, 
Yeah. It was a disaster. Yeah. You know? So you've had experience. I've had the experience, and I think that everything this time, you know, proper partnership agreements, lawyers, everything right down to what happens if I die, if Lisa dies, mm -hmm. yes. get all the what happens. It's all there, and the rules and the ground rules are set from the beginning. The rules of the game are yeah. set. Yeah. Everything from, can you imagine in this industry, who gets, you know, do the family get free treatments, do this, get, so yeah. everything yeah. was being noted, everything. Nobody yeah. thinks of those things, yeah. actually. But no one thinks yeah. of those things, and they're the things that can cause so much grief. Mm. Okay. You know, uh, would you, would you, I mean, are you comfortable sharing at all some of the things that went wrong in the original partnership? You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, just oh, to well, just, what well basically, say. I think we were very good friends, yeah. uh, and that was the was one of the issues. Uh, two, we were at very different stages in our life, mm. and we had a different vision. I mean, when I started the business with this particular business partner, and we were very good friends. I have the, the greatest respect for her still. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're are not you still not, friends. No. Yeah, that's the same yeah. part. Yeah, and uh, but I think that you have to kind of. It was some stage you have to say, well, that's it. You know, yeah, it was it was amicably done, a bit like a divorce. Yes. Marriage. But that's what. <laughs> yeah. that's what you got married pretty quickly afterwards. Yeah. 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 yeah, on the rebirth. But yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the problem, though, with, with businesses. Like, you know, I think. So you go in as business and then the grand rules weren't set. Mm. And we started because we both had small children. Mm. And we thought, you know what, we can work part time and this can be like a small industry. And I could see the potential to grow it. Yes. She became unwell and didn't want to grow it. Yeah. So your vision so became misaligned. Yes. Absolutely like yeah. that. So then yeah, when perhaps. Lisa was there, I knew that she had the same vision as me. Yeah. And she had this, came from the same background. This other person was a nurse as well, but yeah. I just think that the relationship was too close. And but what about, so Lisa, when you came in and joined, because mm -hmm. often that can be, it's different when you start out together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you came into something that had already kind of been formed and mm -hmm. the vision, mm -hmm. I guess, was, was there. What was your vision? I mean, did you come in and see that vision and go, "Wow, that is so aligned with what I'd love to do"? Well, I, I think I was. You... I think I'm actually, first of all, very grateful that I was given the opportunity yeah. to prove myself. But then again, I must have been a good employee yeah, to be of given course. that opportunity. Um, but I guess. We were lucky because at that stage we had this new fabulous piece of machinery and the business was pumping and yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, we worked yeah. so hard but you know at the end of the day we were exhausted but we could see the, the end result. So I guess that was a taste of if you if you work hard, yeah. Yeah. you know, your, your goals will be achieved. So we were lucky in that respect. Yeah, yeah. And I think we always had, I always had, and I have said to Lisa from the very beginning, you were the boss now as well. Yes, it was always, yes, you know, yes. Because there can be that yes, feeling yeah. of, oh, but there was I never, don't really want to step up yeah. and say anything yeah, because I'm not she, really she, a part of the <laughs> she was on. No, yeah. 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 She's she's the definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I know, she was in charge. Yeah. She, was but she was the boss. But, but we both, I wanted something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. But we both yeah. bring separate things to the table. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. I mean, I, I that's would, important. Yeah. Too. yeah. So we both have we both have great strengths yes. together, but also separately we, we align with each other. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what advice? I mean, I want to get some. I've been trying to get this from a lot of my guests yeah. actually, particularly on business partnerships yeah. and joint ventures and yeah. things like that. A couple of key tips that you would say to anyone out okay, there yeah. thinking of a business partnership mm. or a, a business yeah. owner who's thinking of you know joint venturing or moving yeah. into that next yeah. realm. I think you have to get really good advice to, to you know yeah. with the, the lawyers Lawyer. to have the contract agreements set up. Yeah. The accountant to understand yes. basically the ins and outs of a business. Even though you think you know, you don't. You no, don't know. Yeah. Um, you need a, a good cash flow. Yeah. You need yeah. to have. You need to be backed. By a good cash flow. So many businesses fail because of lack of cash flow. Yes, right absolutely, and you have to you have to you have to understand certain things in business. You know, it's easier never to discount but to add value to your business. So yeah. you know, set the ground rules on how we're going to treat family and friends. Yeah. Um, yes. Understand the the importance of working together as a team and, and providing your staff with the environment that you mm. want to work in. Mm. Uh, so back to the point on cash flow, um, I think it's really important too when you set a business up is to agree mm -hmm. to a certain level of cash flow and what the results are going to be and when to stop. I mean, so many times we hear of people who their house has gone up and they've lost everything, I but I think you really have mm -hmm. to have enough cash flow that you can see whatever your, your 12 month plan, your two year plan, your five year plan. And what you're going to do if it runs out. Exactly. Yeah. And what the arrangement is and, you know, and so so if, if you have to dissolve the business, if you have to dissolve the business, yeah. what, what are you going to do? Yeah. You know? And how much risk it is to each person? Because yeah. one person may, $50,000 may not be a risk to them, but the other the person could, could, be, house. could be their yeah. house. Yeah. So I think that's really important. The granules are really, really important. You know, what I want to stress here for the viewers as well is something uh, that you said, Lisa, and 
you know, it's the power of your team. Mm -hmm. Like you, you have to have, because one thing I say is you can't do this on your own. You need to have the proper lawyers. You need to have a proper accountant. Mm -hmm. You need to pay for yeah. these things. Mm -hmm. They're worth, and they're, they're, expensive. And they're expensive. They're expensive. They're expensive. You have to factor it in. Mm -hmm. So before you start a business, you, you need to factor anything. this stuff in. You have to pay yeah. the money out for good advice. The other thing too, which I'll just say, I think mm -hmm. women in business are treated very differently. Yes. To men. I'm interested to know your thought, how you thought about that. Yeah, thoughts, and I think, I think that, you know, I will be standing talking to someone, um, a supplier, buying a $150,000 piece of equipment. Mm. And if there's any man in the room, even though he's got nothing to do with the decision, yeah. they will automatically talk to her. So you oh, have to get over. Furious. Yeah, it is a furious, but you have to get over. And then, you know, women who are strong, and myself and me have a very strong mm. personality, and we've got the reputation in business, not outside, not to our clients. But as being very strong, mm. almost what's the word I would use? Like someone sent me, uh, told me the other day, I sent them a brutal email. Now the email wasn't brutal. The email was it was business like, it was business -like. Yeah. you didn't you, you didn't show for appointment or you didn't you cancelled the last acceptable. minute. Mm. It's not acceptable to me. That is just a straight. Mm. Yeah, if a man sure. had said that, there would have been, been to say yeah. that. Well, so it, I think yeah. one of the worst enemies. It's because, and it's thing. usually a woman that will. Yeah, do that. but it's this whole thing at the moment actually, I don't know if you've seen, it's all over social media right now. Sheryl Sandberg, who's the CEO of love Facebook, her. Yeah, right? Love her. You can't and she, have it all. Yeah, she's yeah. out there. I love her. So she says that her. girls, she's got this, um, oh, what's it called, don't be bothered, or, or yeah, no, girls, no to bossy campaign, because yeah. girls are being described as bossy. Bossy, but they're leaders. Boss. Yeah. 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 How do we solve this problem? Because it's an unconscious bias then that yeah. we're brought up with. Yeah. That as girls, we're afraid to say anything. Yeah. And we're afraid to be, and we're called men. Yeah. Yes. We're called like bull, bulldogs. Yeah, bulldogs. Yeah. So that's exactly mm -hmm. the reputation we have, unfortunately. But yeah. I don't care. I think you have to, yeah. And it's exactly what she says. You know, we see little girls in the playground, you know, in charge. Like, yeah. I often say that to Lisa, but Lisa, Lucy, her little girl is in charge. And I, yeah. and the people say she's bossy or can say she's bossy, but no, she's just a leader. She's yeah. stepping up. Yeah. She's yeah. stepping up. Yeah. Whereas a boy does that, there's no big deal. There's no big deal. No. He's captain of the football yeah. team or he's this or he's that. Good boy. And it's celebrated. Yeah, yeah, celebrated. Yeah, you know, I think I think it's actually I had a, a girl on the show a few weeks ago called Debbie Spellman, mm -hmm. and Debbie does uh, she deals in self love. Yeah, and, and um, that that's her, her her business. She's a therapist, and she sees problems all the time with women, like quite qualified yeah. women, like really, you know, women coming through who have very low self esteem yes. and yeah. self worth issues. That's causing issues in their businesses then around how they make money. Mm. Yeah, because they're afraid to ask. Mm. Afraid to ask. The money. Yeah. And discounting. Mm. You mentioned discounting. Mm. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them are discounting to try because they're afraid people won't mm. buy from them. Yeah, yeah. But we look after very powerful women here, mm. and it's yeah. amazing. Because a lot of a lot of people come here, not a lot, but it's one of the reasons they come is to feel better about themselves. But yeah. often, you know, I say to them, you can't fix this unless you fix unless it in here. Yeah. In here. Yeah, and these are really powerful CEOs of companies. Yeah. That lawyers, lawyers, doctors, doctors that yeah. really feel a very powerful, very total who feel they mm. can't ask, mm. that they cannot, you know, that I haven't got it's, the it's, it's obviously, it's a problem. I mean, I've spent years in the corporate world, yeah. and I know that I've suffered nothing. Mm. I'm a strong yeah. woman, yeah. and I yeah. think, you know, but I was bullied. Mm. I was yeah. bullied in a job when I was in my 20s, yeah. very badly. Yeah. Um, I just can't understand how I wasn't able to say anything. Yeah. I've definitely gotten underpaid. Mm. Yeah. You know, I haven't asked for, you know, yeah. there's things like that, and I think, our generation are we're the ones who are facing it yeah. massively because we're 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 entering the realm mm. of business and mm. money yeah. and mm. leadership in a yeah. big way. Okay. And I'm hoping that our next generation Well I've got a seventeen year old girl yeah. who um, I would hope but you just don't know. But you would hope yeah. that she watches myself who, you know, yeah. works and has her own She's watching television as well. But she's also television. watching the Kardashians, so that doesn't help either. So, know. you know, so there's yeah. two different yeah. types. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I love about this discussion, though, is that we're having a discussion, you know, you, you run a skin rejuvenation and laser mm -hmm. clinic yeah but yet we're talking about the things that you know like it's not just it. yeah it's not yeah. just about it's not just about um what you do or but even helping women you know yeah they're coming in but there's a whole host of problems mm -hmm. there yeah. well that's probably you know um I feel like I'm a counsellor. Every yeah, day, yeah, I, 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 can, I, can answer, I can answer any relationship problem. I can, yeah, I can see it all. And even someone was expressing ways to celebrate her husband's 50th birthday. <laughs> and she said she wanted to give 50 ways of why she loved her husband. And then I, and I was saying, well, why don't you do a tree with leaves? Oh, and yeah. then she said, you know, graphic arts, and now let's just paint it. Yeah. And, but so every 
day we, 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 we come up with new challenges yeah. and, and it's all getting to know the client um, but there's lots of uh, there's lots of low self-esteem in women yeah, yeah. And, and the more successful they are the, the self-esteem is at the lowest that's, that's exactly what Danny and I were speaking about mm -hmm. just yeah. saying that it's not you think it's the girls that are you know, uneducated or no. you know, it's women. It's women. All, all yeah. the spectrum of women are suffering from these problems. Yeah, yeah. and they, and they, well, fortunately or unfortunately, yeah. they actually want to spend the money, and they actually sometimes don't even care how much the money costs because they think that by fixing this mm. fixes everything in life. But yeah. sometimes they can. Sometimes it does, sometimes and sometimes it, does. it doesn't. Yeah. Look, so I want to talk a little bit now about. I'm always really interested in business models. Yes, yeah. for me, you know, I watch people starting businesses and. Getting the model wrong, particularly in the beginning, is what can collapse yeah. a lot yeah. of startups. Yeah. Now, looking at what you girls have done, like I just your business, you know, from the marketing right through to the customer service to the look and feel, everything to me anyway looks like just such a well-oiled machine. Yeah. But I'm interested to know, like way back in the beginning, like, did you understand the importance of getting strategy right? Do you think? Where did that I joined hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I think in the in the beginning we opened. When we opened it, we didn't. We had a strategy, very short-term strategy, mm -hmm. um, so we didn't think it through. But one thing I will say, because there's so many clinics like ours that open, yeah. one thing I would say that has made us very successful is that we didn't rush into anything. So we, our, my strategy was, or our strategy was, was just one service we started off, which was laser hair removal, and then we didn't just have like we have now, 20 services. Yeah. So once we got that right, ironed all the problems in, then we went to the next service, which was IPL. And peels. And peels yeah. for skin, and then we took a time with that, and then we got into injectables. So every six months or a year, whenever we felt comfortable, once you had a general understanding of the services, it was yes. easy to add in. But the biggest mistake we would have made was, was strategically not, was just to buy everything in one go. Oh, and try to be all things to all yes. things to yes. what you can yes. do, so I would say, from a strategy point of view, in the beginning, that's what we did. We just took it easy, yeah. and then really got everything perfect for it to the next step. You know, it's interesting you say that actually, because another girl I had on the show, uh, Wendy Mack, a few weeks ago, she's like a sort of a she's a marketing guru, mm -hmm. and she yeah. said the same thing. She said in order to become the go-to expert yeah. in your industry. Mm -hmm. You need to start out being the go-to in, in something really yeah, niche exactly. and very specific. Yeah. And yeah. then you branch that. Exactly. Before you know it, you're yes. the go-to in the whole industry. Yes. In the industry. And that's exactly and that's what happens to yeah. you girls. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's a common denominator across the... Across the but yeah. it's interesting though, getting back to women in business and, yeah. and services that are provided. When Kay and I, in a male, a predominantly back then 15 years ago, yeah. a male-dominated field, Kay and I would, would be invited to conferences or dinners run by certain companies. Mm -hmm. And no one would want to talk to us, really, because we were sort of, sort of pledged. Oh, they're the nurses. I was just going to say the nurses. nurses. Yeah, we're yes. the nurses, and and, um, and plus we, yeah, plus yeah, yeah. female, and plus we employed a doctor. Awesome. So instead yeah. of the doctor employing the nurses, we're we're, yeah. we're we're moving the tables a bit. So moving forward, fifteen years, everybody yeah. wants to talk to us because they want to they want to um, discuss ideas. They wanted to say, you know, they want to they, they, they want to. Yeah. Um, Ask us all the time, how do we do this? What do you think of this? What, what's this in it? Blah, blah, blah. So it's interesting. They want to know the secret of your success. Absolutely. Because you have been massively yes. successful. Yes. Yeah. So it's, uh, we have to fight them off now when yeah. we go for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. How, do you, how do you go from, from beginning to, like, is, how, how big is marketing in your business and, and PR and branding and stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> so I look after the, the boss well, I kind of, well, I kind of look after the business no. and marketing yeah. side, and well, it's actually, more that's clinical. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. So Lisa does all the clinical. She does all the that kind of, and I do some clinical. Well, yeah. Not, but I, I look after more of the business marketing. But obviously, with Lisa's okay, involved yeah. in everything, but yeah. I kind that's of do on the day to day. Works. That's yeah. it works. Right. Okay. So I think you know the, the biggest changes. I mean, back you know when we started, no one was really advertising, so we were just print advertising. Mm -hmm. um, and then we rapidly, not rapidly, but for five years, it was all print, print, yeah. print. Went with Korea, went with Korea, all the local yeah. stuff. Yeah. And we spent a lot of money, but it worked. Yeah. So then, you know, you think, well, it's still not really working. And then, so then we, we the next thing was obviously SEO and yeah. internet, websites. websites. Your website's fabulous. Thank, thank you. So, your website. Thank yeah. you. And so we did that. And next thing, it was social media, which is. I know. It's and we share. It's a whole lot of And exactly but what you're doing now. So, yeah. you know, we've just, we in the beginning, we had our own PR agency. Mm -hmm. And that kind of did all the print. And we've got such a strong relationship with print media, we don't really need it. But we've just employed a, 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 a PR agency, yeah. the audience uh, agency, yeah. to look after our social media because 
you know, things are moving, like it's the YouTubers and the next celebrities yeah. and the next experts and the Instagram and the bloggers and, and, the yeah. so, and plus we're running our business so we haven't got time to be doing all that, you know, because we are the business, we're the, the business. business. I mean, yeah. that is a challenge actually a lot of businesses face, like when yeah. you're so busy working in the business, yes. how yeah. do you find time to work on the business? Well, I try and, and allocate a certain amount yeah. of time to do it and I think if you have to outsource, like we do, I, uh, everything is outsourced from an admin point of view, yeah. from you know accountants to you know all that kind of st financial side is all outsourced, yeah. and um, and now so is the PR and you know things like which we have a small team but the team that we do have mm -hmm. like our practice manager also got a marketing degree you know so yes, you we're trying cross skills cross skills yeah, yeah. and um, so our next challenge is social media. So, well, I love the fact though that you've we have you've been doing not, Yeah, we have to recognise it. Well, no, I think the fact that you've recognised though that you need to do all these things to to, to mm -hmm. keep the business on track, but also that you can't do it all yourselves. You can't no, do it all yourselves. You, you can't. So because you're so busy actually running this business yeah. that you know you need to you need to outsource the business. Plus, yeah. that, you know, at the end of the day, we've got a family. You got so, and you're so that's our other job. You know, and I'm going to the unpaid work. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah. Yeah. The other thing that's frustrating about the new wave of social media. Is and and web SEOs is mm. you're surrounded by very young people. Yeah. So quick. You, it, yeah. they're quick and they're challenging, and mm. it's a different generation, mm. female, yeah. male. We've got like our our IT guy's twenty, but he's changed our business. Has he? Yeah. Unbelievably, he's a very smart. So it's worth taking on someone. You think, oh, is he a bit young or they? Yeah, yeah, but we have to get past that. Yeah, yeah. And I find that really challenging. <laughs> <challenging. laughs> it's really challenging because they'll come in and they can shoot gum and they can. Oh, it's totally and, different. And I just think it's disrespectful. But we have to. I said, you just have to learn how to deal with it. Deal with it because he created your app because I know you have the fresh, fresh face. No, that's actually a company. That's actually a company app that was developed by one of our suppliers. But we were going to do an app as well. You're going to do an app. So. I mean, I don't think an app's the be all and end all, but I, I do don't think, think so either, that, I don't think it's part of the puzzle. Yeah, yeah, it's part of all, yeah, exactly. It's a bit of a fun thing, but that's yeah. why I wouldn't spend too much money on apps, because yeah. I know people out there are spending a fortune yeah. on apps. But the, the, the other thing yeah. too is within our industry, it's quite confidential. Yes. Oh, so yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we, we can't build apps for people, other people to see. No, you no. know, so yeah. we have to be quite careful as to what we do, because another thing with regards to social media, mm -hmm. where you can go to the famous hair salons and they can show they've got the it girl and this celebrity yeah, and this person here. from Channel 9. No one wants to really... Put themselves uh, out there and say... Well, they do, if they, they say for skin, but they're really, they might be coming in for injectable. So we have to... Yeah. It's, it's, it's quite tricky yeah. in this particular... So, thing. and we've got a strategy to deal with that now, but mm. it's... Yeah. I can't tell you what it is yet. Can't tell you what it is. Watch this space. Watch yeah. this space. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk a bit about because I think when I look at a business like this, I mean, yeah. I just think, wow, what a gold mine. I mean, you know, the the, the whole emotional triggers yeah. for people to buy yeah. are so easy because yeah. all of us women in particular, like as you say, we're all looking trying to stay young. Yes. And, but I want to talk a little bit. What the tricky side of the business? Like, I mean, how 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 do you? Use the word lucrative, but what's the trickiest part of this business? It's an expensive business to run. Yeah. Okay. So everywhere. So if I do it, a man when he sits on my bed and looks yeah. at Bondi Beach with the beautiful view and the lovely paintings and what have you, the first thing he says, "Gosh, you must be uh, cracking it." <laughs> yeah. 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 it. But yeah. it, you know, it, the product is expensive. The insurance for the doctors are insured, uh, expensive. The yeah. wages are. Expensive. The rent is expensive. Work is and the location that you want. Is it's a very, very expensive business to run. Yeah. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's. Um, and is there competition coming in? Is it rife? Yeah, or you know what? The competition is rife, and there's actually a place downstairs who does everything that we do, mm -hmm. but half the price. More than, but, half. more than half the price, but there's no customer service, there's no That's nicest, true. you're not guaranteed to get the same person every treatment, yeah. there's no medical follow-up, um, and then often if I walk past and I look at the girls, they all look dishevelled and, and yeah, um, there's no pride in their work. Yeah. So that's the difference between, and, and a lot of our clients have been honest with us and said they have gone downstairs, look, but yeah. that well, they even tried a service, yeah, good, yeah. but because it's cheap and everyone's on budgets and we understand that, mm. but they always come back. And yes, was you have to resist the temptation to go that route as well and to drop we things never. because it's not no, your value. No. So it's about sticking, and I love that about this business. Yes. You stick to what your value proposition yeah. is yes. to the market yes. and the level of the market that you're playing. Absolutely. At. Yeah. You know, people say I always say, you know, we see yourselves as a premier brand mm. in the clinic. Mm. You know, Louis Vuitton have got to drop their prices. No. You or know, discount. Or no. discount no. their prices. So. You know, I think we're trying to you know, compare yeah. apples with apples. And I think, yeah, 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 yeah. At the yeah. same time, we're not greedy. So no, we understand yeah. that we've gone through the GFC and, and mm. people are losing their jobs. And 
our business didn't suffer at all with the GFC. In fact, it actually rose I, I due, 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 due the, due the GFC. Yeah. But, you know, some, some women had to cut back on their nanny so they couldn't afford the treatments. Yeah. Yeah. And then they would say, you know, I've only got $500 to spend. What can I have for $500? Yeah, can so we can work something out. We're, yeah. we're not greedy. No. Greedy women who say you've got to spend this, blah, blah, blah. And we have a loyalty to our clients. We have loyalty to us as yes. well. We do, yeah. So, so yeah. some of our clients have been coming from since the doors have been opened. Yeah. And yeah. it's extraordinary the, the, the um, loyalty they have yeah. for I think, us. I think the loyalty that you have built is, is mm. probably one of the secrets of your, mm. of your success. So... As, as I've been calling all of my guests on the show, my, as, a, as savvy femtrepreneurs oh, like of, of the future, <laughs> isn't that good? <laughs> what does the future hold for each of you? What's your big vision for this business? Oh, I think, uh, look, I, I feel like I've still got a few, few more years in Yeah, I'm going to tank there. And, and thank goodness I'm in the anti aging business yeah. right yeah. Going yeah. To, uh, in yeah, my little wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, I've, I've got the enthusiasm, so I'm not yeah. bored. But we, Kay and I do have a few visions in the back yes. of the pants. But for we growth. obviously, yes, yes, for growth. But obviously, it's confidential at this yeah. stage. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we're, we're always thinking. So we don't, we don't sit back and go, we've done it, we've made it, high five, it's yeah. easy. We're, we're, we're constantly thinking, we're watching. Evolving. We go overseas once a year. We learn from New York, Los Angeles, Paris. We, we've done it all. We, we see how they work. Yeah. And then it, it's interesting, though, because often a company will bring out a guest speaker, a hot person from Los Angeles, mm. and then we go there and we go, Oh, that's dirty, or that cushion's not right. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're that's walking around option. with big drinks in their hands, and you just sort of think, no, and that's why we're successful. That's why you're successful. That's because we don't do that. We have a very high standard, you know, and I think with nursing, you, you talk plenty yeah, of say, septic are. techniques, sterility, all these things that are embedded in our mind, you know, um, and I think that is one of the reasons why we're successful. Yeah. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. And I think that the, the reason we all keep going yeah. is that my son is love coming to work. I think it makes sense. You know, I know that. Yes. I know because when I see you girls, when I see you in the shopping center, it's so right. And you actually have such a laugh. Yeah, we have a good time. I always yeah. say, it's an interesting thing. It's an amazing choice in their career. Do something you love because yeah. you do well. And I know yeah. it's a very cliche thing, but we honestly, even when I, my always actually look forward to coming back yeah. because. Yeah. You miss, it's completely different to my normal life as a mother of teenagers yeah. and, you know, God, it's, it's a completely different life. And I, I, my husband says, when are you going to yeah. stop working? I thought, well, well you do don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Just to do what? Yeah. 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 Well, well, yeah. 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 Start playing golf. But we, but, but, but we have a really good uh, work balance yeah. ratio. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we, we exercise and, and yeah. you know, Kay and I always say, as long as we exercise, we, we're happy to, to do the yeah. long hours. We, um, and we, we, we find the time to complement our own personal life yeah. with our business. And you yeah. can support each other. Yes, yeah. yes. Your but, but, our business, yeah. Our, but our business, our job is, is social. So yeah. every day yeah. it's it's meeting 10, 15 women with all different stories. And I mean, celebrities, and it's, it's, celebrities, it's, it's yeah. girls who've come from Dubbo, girls who've come from Whoop Whoop, yeah. you know, international yeah, yeah women, I saw that. You so many, yeah. so many. Um, but it's, so it's it's nice because you've got the relationship, and often clients often say to me, "Gosh, how did you remember that?" I don't know, but yeah, I always I remember, remember. Fun, <laughs> fun facts about yeah, everybody. About but everyone. it's yeah, it's good. You've got it? everyone's dirty laundry, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's all good. Everything's yeah. positive. Mm. This, girls, that's been really fabulous having. I mean, just for someone, for two women, I love the partnership thing and that, yeah. being in partnership yeah. so successfully for so long. It's yeah. just, it's, it's really gold it's to rare. have you on the show. Yeah, it's rare. It yeah. is rare. Yeah. And it's, it's really gold to have you on the show. So Thank you. Thank, thank you. you Thanks very much. Thank you to everyone for watching again for another week. And remember that you'll catch me later this week on my podcast on iTunes, where I'm going to be giving you my key takeouts from today's show. But also, I'm going to be changing it up again next week. I'm actually going to be joined on the show by a man. I'm going to be joined by Thomas Caste, and we're going to be talking about how he created an award-winning documentary out of thin air. See you then.